Hello. Hey, Jim. Yes, it's, who is this? It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live down the street here on Drive. Yeah, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, um, I noticed like you, you keep coming over here and, and writing in the snow on my car window. Because I, I have to wipe it off like every morning. Can you please not do that? That's not me. Oh, I, I know it's That's you. That's not me. No, I know it's you. It, it's so it's okay, Jim. I, I just was hoping you could not do it anymore. Okay. Like whatever you say, man. Okay. Can you apologize? What what, what is your what's your last name, Roy? Zerbel. Uh, and and you wrote the word kiosk on my car. I you know what you you're dead wrong. I'm not even in town. Well, it had to be someone from your house. Like no. wh- whoever's there, can you just I mean, ask him to? Cause what, what, is, what is your what is your address? I, I followed the footprints, and and it leads straight to your house. I'm I'm just like seven houses down. You're, and you're Roy. What, yeah. What's your address? I'm at twenty. I'm at twenty four. Uh, yeah. What? Yep. I, I what? I, I don't. S- why what? What what's your address? I heard that part. Like I I told you, I'm in the blue house. I'm just like seven houses down. What are you an identity thief? Like, like, what do you need my address for? You, you know which one it is. It's, you keep coming to my driveway. No, I don't. I don't know you. <laughs> well, if you don't know you me, why wrong. why are you drawing on my car window? That's weird. Like, what are you, a kid? Uh, I'm telling you, you have the wrong person. What, what is what is Kios? Well, you know what? Call, what listen, uh, let me tell you this. Call the cops. No. And tell them what you just told me. That, no, seriously. Go ahead and call the cops that, because... I'm be telling a, you, you're dead wrong. That'd be a waste of their time. Like, I'm not going to bother the cops with something this immature. No, call them because no, because no. Uh, you're you're making false accusations here. So I want you to call the cops and let them investigate. It oh, that's and then silly. Tell you that, that's silly. That you're uh, full of crap. No, like I, I don't I don't want to get the cops involved. You'll look like an idiot yeah, when I they do. ask I, you to stop. I want you to get the cops involved. Well, I can't get the cops involved because I have two strikes already. Can you just tell me what what does kiosk mean? Like why do you, why do you keep writing kiosk? Like what's the significance no of that? Idea. You sound like a mental, you sound like a mental case. What? I'm not I'm not you're you're the one coming in my driveway and drawing on my car. I'm the mental case. You're a mental case. You're a mental case, Mr. Trespasser. Well, then call the cops. Walking around in my driveway. Cops. I don't want to call the cops. Cops have better things to do than Well then it, do, do, then don't call me. I have better things to do than talk with, to you. No, you don't, because you keep coming to my driveway and drawing on my car. What, good, what do you goodbye. have to do that's any better than that? He's gonna call you. He put some senses in your shoes. He's filming in your house today. Your mailbox also looks gay. He's housing refugees on your driveway. He's tearing your roof off all the way. It's the snow plow show. It's the snow plow show. It's the snow plow show. Donate on Patreon today. Yeah. Hi, Harriet. Yes. It's uh, Roy from the the city. Okay. I'm I'm calling to let you know that you're listening to episode 522 of the Snowplow Show. This one's brought to you by Boca Recovery, Wolfatin, Nikish, I Regret Jumping, and Jamie F. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm talking about that today is December 27th, 2018. It's the Snowplow Show. We're going to call up some people today and say I'm with the city. Well, I can't talk to you right now. I'm waiting for somebody to come get a snake out of my house. A snake's in your house? Yes. Is it someone from the city coming to do that? Yes, from what? the animal control, I suppose. Yeah, that, that's what I'm calling about. We got a call from animal control. They told us about the snake. What kind of snake is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that much about them. What, what color is it? It's sort of a brownish with stripes going around, looks like. Did it come up out of your toilet while you were sitting on the toilet? No, 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 no. He's in my laundry room. Oh, like, uh, on on concrete floor. I said, wh- so he's probably cold. Why don't you just capture him yourself? Leave me alone. What? Please. Oh, no, no, I'm, we, we're going to send someone out. Wow, okay. Well, anyway, I'll just continue the intro without her, because I also wanted to thank the new supporters of the show on Patreon, like Hannah and Skeety McLovin and Jeff K and T Bridges. 
Synthhead, and Jeremy C. And somebody signed up on the Elite Cactus Squad at phonelosers.org slash cactus. Adam S. Thanks for signing up, Adam, and supporting the show and getting the extra shows and all that stuff. Thanks for the support, everyone. Hopefully it continues throughout the next year or two or five or ten. All of the supporters of the Snowplow Show got to hear the Hobo Sode that I released on Monday. I think that was Monday. It's been a long week with Christmas and all that. Yeah, it was the day before Christmas, the 24th. I called up a few people and I did the old microwave beams thing in their backyard and they were not having it. Here's a small clip of that. Giving me not enough information for me to be making a decision. It's only... And obviously I can't make the decision anymore, but I think I should at least have the information yeah, well, so I'll... I can decide if I want my family home and if I... It's oh, no, no, don't be silly. It's it's not, it's not. It's only unsafe I'm if you're... I'm not being silly. Shh, I'm not listen, being silly. Shh, hey, hey, shh, Sir, shh. I'm asking for one piece of information and that is give me what you have so I I can read it. It only so affects. I have the knowledge you have because I don't have your knowledge <sighs> because you've not given me privia to that. Look, unless you're a family of robots, it's not going to hurt you. It's just it, it disrupts electronics. Well, it's the water out of my pool, but I don't. If, if I have a pool, um, you said you did. I want. So that's enough of that. I think that one went on for about ten minutes. That call. That lady was a realtor, and she thought she knew everything about houses, and was telling me that we weren't allowed to send microwaves into her backyard from space. Be sure to listen to that one if you remember. That was a fun show. Yesterday, I listened to Tim Henson's show, you know, the Distorted View show, and I was surprised to hear him use the call where I tried to frame him for a lawsuit. If you remember that one from the previous Snowplow show, I was telling people that they were losing their phone numbers and getting a new phone number. New and improved, has more digits in it, and one guy near the end, he was not happy at all about that. He asked me who I was, he's going to send his lawyer after me, and I told him I was Tim Henson from Distorted View in Cincinnati. And I guess Tim found that amusing enough to put it on his show. So thank you for that, Tim. If you want to hear Tim's take on one of my prank calls, go listen to the December 26th show on distortedview.com. By the way, thank you, Dan, for the intro song of today's show. Uh, a couple days ago, I ended up listening to part of an old show because of a comment that someone left about it on YouTube. In fact, I still have the comment right here in my emails from Frankie Flash talking about the Indian scientist cracked him up when he started owning the call. Frankie is also the reason that I even did that hobo sode the other day where I was telling people about microwaves in their backyard. He reminded me of that because he was so amused with this Indian guy that was going on about the technical aspects of microwaves or something. I forget exactly what he said now, but if you go to the April 14th, 2016 episode called Microwave Beam Experiments for Science, and Frankie says go to exactly 41 minutes and you'll hear this Indian guy just react awesomely. And I listened to it and then I just kept listening and then I got to the voicemails. And one of the voicemails had that song in it from the intro by Dan. And in the voicemail I told him, I'm like, Dan, send me that intro as an MP3. And I guess he never did it because I don't have it. So I went ahead and recorded that straight off of YouTube the other day because I kind of liked it. So thank you, Dan, if you're still a listener. Thanks for that intro song. Send me the damn MP3. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Libby? Yes. It's Roy from the Comptroller's office here with the city. Okay. I I'm calling to let you know we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be there in about an hour. We're gonna dig a large hole in your front yard. Uh huh. Uh, Why? Uh, well, we we found um, a treasure map. Uh, is behind a filing cabinet in the the county garage. And it says there might be a treasure in your front yard, and we're not sure if it's real. Uh -huh. But just in case it is, we're gonna come over and dig large holes. And I think you need to talk to my husband. Okay. I guess. Hold on just a minute. All right. I don't know. Hello? Hey, Buck? Hello? Buck? Yes? It's Roy from the city's comptroller's office. City comptroller? Yeah. Yeah, what What you controlling? The comptroller, dummy. It's a different thing. That's what I was asking. What are you controlling? I don't control anything. I'm a comp troller. All right, what you need, sir? Okay, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be there in about an hour to uh, dig some large holes in your front yard. 
And they, they might just be there for a day. We'll have them all covered back in by tomorrow, filled back in. Uh, sir, I don't need no holes in my yard. Yeah, it's not for you. It's for us. We found a treasure map behind an old file cabinet at the county garage. So we're sending a crew out to dig up the treasure. Now, who in the world are you? I already told you. It's Roy from the comptroller's office. Sir, you, you ain't telling me enough to where you want to dig in my yard, okay? Oh, no, we're, we're definitely going to dig in your yard today. We're sending trucks out. We're going to be there um, just like in maybe an hour. Where do you think I live? On the road. Well, city ain't got nothing to do with this out here. Yeah, yeah, we do. You tell me what, what rights you got out here on my place. Well, there might be a treasure buried underneath your yard. We found an old Bullshit. treasure. Bullshit. There ain't nothing, nothing down thing to it, okay? No, we, we, there might be. Like, we found a treasure map. I don't know why it would be here if there wasn't a treasure. Like, it's a treasure map. Don't you come in here and go to dig it. You get a damn shotgun, do you? No, it's just in the front yard we're going to dig. That's all. It's not a big deal. You ain't going to dig in the front yard. Yeah, like, you know where your sidewalk is? We think it's right below the sidewalk. We might have to tear out your sidewalk. Sorry about that. Don't you put a damn shovel in nothing. Oh, no, we're not going to use shovels. We're going to use large machinery, like trucks and... and who, who, are, who are you? Oh, again? I already told you. I told you twice. You need me to tell you again? Did you forget? I didn't forget, sir. Well, why I you, got a good memory. Why are you asking then? Because I told you twice, don't because you? This, this, this is a pr prank. Don't you remember when I told you? There ain't no value in what you're saying, okay? No, well, yeah, but there's a treasure in your front yard, like underneath, buried, and you're not allowed to dig for it because it's going to be like 10 feet down. And you're not, as a homeowner, you're not allowed to dig that deep. So don't, don't try and get it before we get there. Well, it don't make sense. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's not even that big of a deal. It's just going to be some large holes in your front yard. Are you still there? No, he hung up. Hello? Buck? I think Buck figured out that I'm full of crap. Oh, well. So I've got an idea here in my notebook. It's from Giad. He sent this to me, uh, I don't know, earlier this year. I don't know where this came from. But he says a treasure map was found behind an old file cabinet at the county garage, and you're sending a crew to dig up the treasure. And that sounds kind of fun. He probably came up with this while I was, uh, you know, telling people I'm digging holes in their yards just to use up the rest of the city's budget for the year. Maybe I should do some of those because it's the end of the year. we got to hurry up and use that budget. Hello. Hello. Hello, Annette. Yes. It, it's Roy from the, the city of... I'm here in the comptroller's office. Yes. I'm calling to let you know um, we're going to be sending some trucks to your house soon. We're going to dig some large holes in your front yard. Why? Uh, we found this old treasure map uh, kind of behind a file cabinet in the county garage. And we're pretty sure it's real. We're just going to dig some holes and, and, you know, just to be sure. But there's supposed to be a treasure like right in the middle of your front yard. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, uh, we're going to have to check into that before you start digging any holes. Oh, no, it's okay. But, we'll, we'll fill them back in. It's not, not a big deal. Oh, yeah, it's a big deal to me because I have a, a sprinkler system out there. Oh, yeah, we'll be careful. Mainly, we're just going to have to... Who is Roy? Who is Roy? Let me speak to... Uh, who is your supervisor, Roy? Carol, but I'm like, you don't need to talk to her. Uh, I'm just letting you know, like, it's probably right below where your sidewalk is. So we'll just have to, to, remo to remove the sidewalk. I don't have a sidewalk. Oh, good. Well, the good. We won't have to remove that then. Uh, Roy, now so, you hold on just a minute. <laughs> why? I don't, I don't know if this is a joke or if this is a scam or what, but, but uh, I'm calling my attorney before you start digging in. Oh, holes no, right no, on my no, no. We're going to be there in about an hour with the trucks, with the city trucks. And a, an oh entire, hell no, you're not. And an entire work crew. They're gonna they're gonna dig. They might be digging oh, no. late into the night tonight. Oh no! Um, uh -uh. But we're no, not be gonna be hunting for no treasure on my no, property. No, it, it'll be. We'll be you finished just, by tomorrow. We'll be finished by tomorrow. 
I don't care when you'll be finished. Yeah, but I'm talking about digging up my yard and making a mess in my yard. No, oh, we'll clean up the and mess. And we ain't gonna be hunting no treasure. We're oh no, you don't have. You're not gonna hunt treasure. We're not sharing it with you. We're gonna be hunting the treasure. It's just gonna be in your uh, yard. You ain't gonna be digging no hole in my yard, sir. No, it's gonna be multiple holes. I mean, unless we. Uh, you're not gonna be digging not the first one nor multiple. We're we're basically gonna remove the entire front lawn ten feet deep. The entire lawn's gonna be a hole. Listen, mister, I don't know who in the heck you are, but this has got to be the biggest scam. And if you think I'm falling for it, you are crazy as a mud. And I'm fixing to call my attorney right now. There's no scam. What kind of scam would it be? I'm with the city. I don't care if you are with the city. I'm fixing to call Mel Puckett right now. You better not call Mel Puckett. Let me tell you something. I'm not even going to talk to you anymore, you sorry son of a gun. And I don't know who in the hell you are, but you are not talking to some dumbass. And you are not digging the first hole in this yard at my house. Do you understand that, sir? Well, you don't have a choice because you rent the home, you rent the property from us, ma'am. Darn, she was trying to pick back up. So she could call Mel Puckett, whoever the fuck that is. I'm looking up that name. I can't. Oh, I see. Okay. That's the name of the mayor in her city. She didn't say Mel Puckett. She said Mayor Puckett. She thinks she can just call up City Hall and talk to the mayor. But, you know, not just anybody can call up the mayor. He's a very busy person. Who does she think she is? She's just going to talk to the, the screener who's going to tell her she's an idiot for thinking she can talk to the mayor when he's out getting a haircut. By the way, I'm calling from a directory that was sent to me back in February of this year by The Good Coach. Thank you, The Good Coach, for this directory. And it's located somewhere in the south. You might have noticed some accents in those two calls. It's the south. That's all. No big deal. Hello. Hello, Linda. Who's calling, please? It's Roy from the city of... Roy? Yeah, Roy. I'm in the comptroller's office. I'm calling to let you know... We're going to be sending some uh, workmen out. We're going to dig some large holes in your front yard. Is this a joke? No. Why would I joke? Why would you dig holes in my front yard? Uh, Well, they found a treasure map uh, behind an old file cabinet and down in the garage. (laughs) Ma'am. She hung up right on that part. Oh, Linda. Oh, she's trying to pick back up. Let's give her a dial tone. Oh, she hung up. Nobody's fallen for my dial tone today. Maybe down in the south, they have those old style dial tones from back in the 50s and 60s. And they're like, what in the hell? That doesn't sound like no dial tone I ever heard. Hello? Hello, John? Yeah. It's Roy from the city of... What's that? I'm, I'm with the city of... I'm in the comptroller's office. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm calling to let you know... We're going to be uh, digging a large hole in your front yard today. We're going to send a large hole in my front yard. Yeah, today. we're going to send some trucks over and a work crew and some large equipment and everything, and we're going to dig some large holes in your front yard, like several of them. Uh, what's the purpose of it? Well, um, we found this old treasure map, and huh? we found an old treasure map over at the county garage, and we think we think it might be real. So we think there might be a treasure directly below your front lawn? Well, I don't know anything about that. Uh. Yeah, well, I think it was put there, like, long before your house was built. Um, Have you ever heard of a pirate called One-Eyed Willie? Huh? Have you ever heard of a pirate called One-Eyed Willie? No. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an old treasure map, and apparently he, he buried it. And uh, we figured out exactly where it is, and we think it's below your yard, your front yard. So we're going to dig a bunch of holes all over your yard, and hopefully we'll be able to find it. Well, (laughs) if there is any such thing, who does it belong to? Me, um, um, just me and some of the guys here in the garage, because we found the map. Well, I, you know, like I say, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, you don't have to worry about it. We'll be out of there by tomorrow. We just want to dig holes all over your front yard and 
See if we can well, find I, that. I don't know that I really want my front yard dug up. Yeah, we'll put the dirt back, though. You know, we'll put it right back. We'll be done by tomorrow. Monday. Well, what's Mon- that going to do to the lawn? Monday tops. I don't know. It'll probably make it uh, better, you know, get it some air. Get it all fluffed up. Get the dirt fluffed up so it'll grow better. It'll be better soil in the end. Oh, I I, I really don't know about that. Yeah, no, it's it sounds it sounds right to me. It'll get it fluffed up. It doesn't to me. It's my property. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like we're we're, we're just going to have to take out the sidewalk. That's all. Because we have to take out the sidewalk. Yeah, because we think it might be right below the sidewalk. But maybe we can dig next to the sidewalk and then just turn left when we get to the bottom. Well, I really don't want my front yard dug up. I know, but, you know, it's it's worth it. We'll give you, like, if, if there is a treasure, we'll give you a couple of the doubloons. The gold doubloons. The what? The gold doubloons. Like what if they, is that? You know, like gold coins, like old gold coins from, you know, 500 years ago, back when pirates ruled the land. Well, if there's a treasure under there, it belongs to me. Well, no, I think... Because uh, I own the property. Well, it depends on if it's uh, more than six feet under. Uh, after six feet, I, I think uh, it belongs to the city. Well, I don't know that it... it why would it belong to the city? I don't, well, because you, you just rent your property from us. What? You you just rent your property from us. You don't really own anything. Oh, I don't agree with that. Yeah, but it's that's the way it is. Uh, you might better go get some kind of court order or something to do something like that. No. Nah, no, nah, that's that's like a lot of that's a lot of hassle. It'll take forever if we do it that way. Yeah, I know it's a lot of hassle, just, but I don't know of any law that says that you can come treasure dig in in somebody else's property. Yeah, but there's no law that says we can't, I don't think. I'm no lawyer, though. Well, I'm not either, but See, I, I, yeah. I just don't know of any... Why pretend uh, we are? I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's cool, though. You know, we'll give you some gold doubloons, some rubies and diamonds and stuff, you know, whatever we find well, in the well, treasure chest. What if chest. you don't find anything? Uh, it makes a mess out of my front yard. Yeah, but we'll put it all back. We'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll We'll just put the grass right where we found it. Well, I, you and, know, I, I don't know that you can really do that. No, it's cool. I mean, it, it'd probably be a mess if you uh, uh, come out here and dig. But, but, you know, what an adventure. Huh? What an adventure, though. It, it'll, it'll be exciting. It'll be something different, something new. Well, it's not, it and, doesn't sound too exciting to me. We'll let you come out and dig with us. You can be a part of the... No, the, I, I don't part want of it. to dig up my front yard. Look, here's the thing. Like, I don't think it's actually the the treasure chest that's under your front yard. Uh, I don't either. I don't believe there is anything. No, 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 no. You got to let me finish. Uh, I think it's actually the entrance to a a series of of caves and tunnels that One Eyed Willie set up with his team of pirates, and it's gonna it's gonna be a bunch of clues and everything we have to follow, and it'll go all over the city, underneath the ground, and in the end we'll find the pirate ship that's buried and has the treasure on it in Willie's treasure room. I think this sounds like a bunch of hocus-pocus. No, that, like pirates are real. Like, haven't you ever read about pirates? You know it's not just stories, right? Well, I, I, are, just don't, uh, I, I just don't quite buy into that. Yeah, well, pirates, pirates are a real thing, I promise. Well, I, we, you haven't convinced me. Yeah, but, you know, like, we're just going to come out and just dig. You know, just let us dig. No, for, you're not going to come out and dig. We're just going to dig no, about... You, you'll not, you'd you have to have some kind of court order. No, to dig come on, don't be yard. like that. We're just we're not even going more than 10 feet. We're just going to dig, dig 10 feet down. Because there's no way uh, pirates I, were able to dig deeper than I, that. I don't buy into that. I don't think there's any such thing. No, there might be, though. Like, what if there is? You, you, could, you could be a millionaire. Well, I'm... Listen, I'm kind of busy right now. What are you doing? I, I, I really can't talk to you any longer yeah, about wouldn't you, this. But, but what if you're a millionaire tomorrow? You'll never know if never. you don't try. Okay, there he goes. It seems like a fair gamble when you think about it. It's not like he has to do any work for it. Like, maybe he'll be a millionaire tomorrow. Maybe he'll just end up with a lumpy lawn with half the grass missing. I guess John is not a gambling man. Not an adventurous soul.
You know what? Like that lady I talked to before, the one that insisted she was smart, she almost wanted to talk to Carol and then she forgot about it. I think because I distracted her. I'm going to call her right back. And have a word or two with her. If she picks up, she probably's not going to pick up. Hello? Annette, it's Carol over at the comptroller's office. I'm Roy's supervisor. I can't. Uh, this is Carol. Yeah, Carol from the city. You know, I don't know what y'all are talking What in the world are y'all talking about? Uh, this is Carol from the city. I I'm, you talked to Roy earlier? Yes. And you were very mean to him, and you hurt his feelings, and he's very upset, and I think you owe him an apology. Well, I, he is attempting to call me back to ask for an apology when he has upset me so, and y'all are scammers, no. and I'm fixing to, I'm recording this, this, and I'm thinking to see if I what we can do about turning y'all over to the sheriff. Oh, no, no, don't do that. We're with the city. Why would you do that? We're with the city. You know, I don't care if you work for the city. I live in the county. Well, yeah, but, you know, we still have, we, we, we still own the land over there. You know, we, we can dig holes. This is but, my land, and you are not digging any holes out here, and I don't give a damn whose feelings I have hurt. Okay. Do you well, understand that? Well, that's, that's not a very and Christian... And I want you to quit calling me and harassing me. No, wait, we're not trying to harass. I, I just wanted to get an apology for, um, for Roy. I'm not apologizing to nobody. Please? Because, I mean, he's, he was crying. You, you had him crying. I will let him cry. Well, that's not very Christian-like for you to act and like that. And don't call me anymore. But why are you being like that? That's so mean. You're so mean. You are the one that's mean. Y'all are harassers. What? No, we're not. We're, we're just doing our job here. And you just you yelled at Roy and you made you Roy are cry. That, you do not work for the city. Oh, yes, I do. I'm in the comptroller's office. Well, that's wonderful. The controller is, is in charge of all the hidden treasures. That's right. That's what we do here. We were just, oh, yeah. like, all we wanted to well, do was come wonderful. And dig a well, simple that's hole. wonderful. Maybe y'all can find a hidden treasure under the chicken when you get it set up. Under the chicken? What, what the fuck does that mean, lady? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not going to listen to this sorry talk anymore, and don't you call me anymore. Oh, I, I might call you. Or I'll have my supervisor call because she hurt my feelings. I don't know why our connection was so terrible on that one. It sounded like she's being auto-tuned or something. Hello? Hello, James? Yeah, yeah who, who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I'm over, I'm with the city of I'm in the comptroller's office. Uh huh. And uh, we're going to be coming over there to your house pretty soon. We're going to dig some holes in your front yard. Uh huh. Uh, just, you know, three or four holes, maybe five, six, seven tops. Just the... something wrong somewhere? No, nothing's wrong. We just, we found this treasure map. And, uh, uh we, who? we found a treasure map in the county garage. And, uh... Oh, what, 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 what was it, what, what, what was it relating to? Uh, well... You mind accent? Well, it's like a pirate treasure. It was buried, uh, you know, there in your front yard hundreds of years ago before your house was there. We think there's, uh -huh. we think there's a treasure chest underneath your front yard. Oh my goodness! Is so, Mama Sarah available to speak to me for a minute? What, huh? Is Mama Sarah there at the Waterland Bomb? Um, no, like uh, she's out to lunch. She out to lunch? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, but yeah. So you yeah. think it's a you think it's a treasure? You think it's a treasure chest uh, up under my house, right? Yeah, yeah. Underneath the house, we're gonna move your house. We're gonna move. So it, move my house. We're gonna mo move it down the street. Don't move it down the street now. Don't tell me that now. I ain't gonna deal with that now. No, no, just, just for the you afternoon. You better call me Susan about that. You better call me Susan. Down. You better call me Susan about moving the house. J just for the night. I call me Susan. Tell you, I'm gonna call me Susan. Tell y'all gonna, gonna move the house. No, we're just gonna move it down to the end of the street and just like set it there for the night. Move the house. Yeah. You move the house. Yeah. Well, we dig holes. No, I don't want you to do that. I'd rather for you not to. But we might At find treasure. No, just call me Susan. Call me Susan. Tell them you're going to move the house down the street. Yeah, but we might find treasure. No, 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 no. Call me Susan Dunn. 
Oh, Susan won't talk to me anymore. She won't. She no, won't. no, no. Yes, she will. She'll talk to you. No, no, she doesn't well, like me. I'm not going to let you move the house unless you get her, uh, let you get her permission. Susan doesn't like me uh, ever since no, the incident. No, no, no. You got to call me, Susan. I'll talk to you later. Be blessed. No, Su Susan just hangs up. Okay, he hung up. He's trying to pick up. I'm moving the house and don't call me no more. That was weird. How did he know I was still on the line? I was playing a dial tone. That one was so bizarre. What the hell was that? Okay, on this next one, uh, I just tried their home phone. It's not picking up. It just rings. But I don't think I mentioned this before, but this directory that was sent to me by the good coach is a church directory. And I'm not doing church calls on it. I'm just doing, I'm digging up your front yard calls instead. But uh, the, their phone number, their home phone number ends in 6666. And that is not very church-like at all. And they also have the cell phone numbers of each of these people. So I'm hoping I can get those to pick up and I'll say them with the church and, you know, what the hell. What do you think you're doing? Hey, this is Amy. Leave a message and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Bye. Okay, Amy's not answering. Let's try the husband, Jay. Hello? Hello, Jay? Yes. It's Roy from the Methodist Church. Yes. Um, I was just calling, like, we're working on the new directory for, uh, you know, this coming year for 2019, the, the phone directory. Yeah. And um, I noticed you put in, like, a fake home phone number that says 6666 on it. And that is not cool. You know, that's like the mark of the beast. It's a satanic number. Who is and this? It's Roy from the church. And I just I just wanted to say I, I was not amused by that. And you, you and... Who, who, hey, who is Roy? What's your last name? Zerbel, you and Amy need to grow up. Who the, dude, who is this? I didn't put any 6666. Yeah. We had a phone number one time that had three sixes at the end. No, that had 6666. That was our damn phone number. What do you think we were going to put on there? Uh, who I, is Roy Zerbel? I don't think I believe you at all. And you, I think you're just playing around. Well, I thought tell it was you what, funny. why don't you meet me somewhere right now, and then we'll talk about it. You probably just thought it was a funny little joke to put 666 in a church directory. You and Amy probably just laughed and laughed about that. But it's not funny, and God doesn't think it's funny. And Dude, that, my freaking home phone number is 866 That is the damn phone number. No. What do you think i'm going to put if you were a real christian you wouldn't have accepted that as a home phone number you would have made him change it so I'm, i don't believe you i think you're full of crap and like it just was look you're not in any trouble we're still going to list you in the directory it just it was not cool you shouldn't who be, are you and where are you you shouldn't be like that i'm at the church right now i'm working on the directory okay but i'll tell you what so so you go to my church yeah i, I work here in the office it's roy jerbel Okay, well, you know what? And you don't need to get up, upset with streets. you don't need to get upset with me, and and that's not a Christian attitude either. T telling me to meet you on the uh, streets? No, no, that's the attitude I'm having because this is ridiculous. My phone number when we moved in this house, the phone number they gave us was eight sixty six sixty six. If you have a problem with it, I'll be glad to meet you anywhere. Well, it's not that I have if a problem I see with you it. At it church, I'm gonna let you know about it. Whoever you are, Roy Zerbell or Zaboo or whatever your damn name is. God has a problem with it. It's not me. Like you're the one using the mark of the beast as a home phone number. Jesus Christ! Like, do you live? Of course, yeah. But, I mean, you you must like. I I don't know if like either you're just a horrible Christian to to accept a number like that, or you just it's juvenile humor. You and Amy thinking you can just put a six 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 in the directory like that. Oh, okay, Roy. Is, let me tell you one thing. Oh, yeah, go yeah, ahead. I really don't even know what to say to you right now, Roy. Um, you can kiss my ass, and if I ever find out who you are, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, no, you won't. There you can't you do that. It's a church. You're not allowed to kick people's ass at a church. I don't have to kick your ass at the church. We can meet somewhere. If you're uh, a man, you'd meet me. I, I don't want to meet a Satanist. Well, how, how, how big a boy are you? Do I need to pack a lunch? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. <laughs> Roy, kiss my ass. Yeah, whatever, Satanist. Oh, <laughs> I, I just got asked how big of a boy am I? That's amazing. I don't even understand what that means. Do I need to pack a lunch? That just flew over my head. Somebody please explain that to me.
I'm I'm gonna try Amy's number one more time just to see if she'll pick up because I tried her twice and I didn't get an answer. But maybe I can get a little more mileage out of this dumb idea. Hello. Hello, Amy. Um. Yes. It, it's Roy. I'm I'm from the church. You know the. Uh huh. Methodist Church. Hey. Um. I noticed uh, we're working on the directory for 2019. Uh huh. And I noticed in here that you and Jay put down that your number is 666 on the end. And I just yes, wanted that's to say that's... a number that we don't use. Yeah, I just wanted to say that's not cool. You, like, maybe you guys thought it was funny or something, but you, you shouldn't that's be... That's our phone number. No, it's not. I, I know better than that. I, I, I swear look, to God. Look, you just, you just both need to grow up because it's not funny. That's something that a, a dumb teenager would do. That doesn't know God very well yet. And who is this? You, this is Roy Zerbel. I, I work here in the office. I'm I'm working on the directory this year. I'm, Can I'm, I speak to the preacher, please? Uh, well, the preacher's not here. It's well, he was a little while ago when my husband was there. Okay, well, he's not here now. I'm I'm not lying to you. I'm I'm not a Satanist like you and and Jay appear to be putting six 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 in the directory. I wouldn't lie. And she hung up. All right. Wow, Jay was just there. So he's into church enough to have just been there on a Thursday, but he also threatens to kick people's asses and wants to meet me outside by the bike rack or something. I think Jay needs to spend more time at church. Didn't he even say Jesus Christ at one point? What kind of church person says that? Bye. Hi, is Jerry there? No, he's not. Oh, well, this is, this is Roy from the city. From the comptroller's office. What, this you, is what? I didn't understand it. That's because your damn TV's on so loud. Is, is Jerry going to be back soon? Oh, you don't talk to me like that. Well, I'm Thank just you. I'm just saying it was... All right, ruin that one. Hello? Hello, Diane? Yes? It's Roy from the comptroller's office here with the city? Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be out to your house here in just a little bit. We're, we're going to start digging some holes in your front yard. For what reason? Um, we've got, um, you know, just we have to use up the rest of the budget for the year. And we haven't used it all up yet. So we're just going to dig some holes for basically no what? reason. What? That makes no sense. Well, we've got to use up the budget or the, you know, the, the feds won't give us as much money next year. We, we have so to, you're just digging holes. Yeah, we're gonna dig a very large pit in your front yard, and we'll what have. What for? Just, just for no, for no reason at all. And we'll, why are you gonna mess up my front yard? But it's not a big deal because we're gonna put it back the way it was uh, tomorrow. We'll, we'll be all finished. Uh, wait a minute! I don't understand this. This sounds hokey. Hokey? No, we're with the city, ma'am. How do I know it? If you say you're Roy, and the name is that does not match the name that came on my phone. Oh, I don't know. Like you'll see when the city trucks arrive. But it's it's definitely uh, we're definitely with the city. The city trucks are going to be there in about an hour. But gonna... why are you digging a hole? Uh, it just to... can't you put it to some good use? Well, we, Clean a sewer gutter or something? Uh, that's, that's more work than we have time for. We've we got a lot to do still. But um, we just have to use up the rest of the budget. I don't believe this. I don't understand it. Well, we, we just have to use up the rest of the budget. We have to use up uh, 6000 more dollars. So we're going to dig a hole in your yard. Put it to some kind of good use, not digging a hole in my front yard. You're going to plant grass and, and recover all that? Yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to use up the money. And why are you doing it to my front yard? Uh, I'm not in the city. Yeah, we just picked you at random. No, you're close enough. You're, you're within uh, our jurisdiction. I'm not in the city. No, you're within our jurisdiction for hole digging. So it's, it's cool. Like We know what we're doing. It says she's in the city on this directory. Stupid church lied to me. Hello. Hi, Frank. Yes. It's Roy. I'm with the city. I'm in the comptroller's office. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be uh, coming to your house tonight. We're going to be digging some holes in your front yard. Okay. There's numerous holes all over your front yard. 
Okay. And we'll have them filled back in by Monday morning. Okay. Uh, how large are we talking about? Uh, about 10 feet deep. And there'll be several. Large. Yeah, several of them, too. But we'll be careful. We know where all the lines are and everything. We're going to spray paint the yard first. Hello? Yes. Yeah? Yep. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I lost the connection. Oh, okay. nope. Nope. I'm still here. Okay. Okay. What's this for? Uh, we just need to use up the rest of the city budget before the year ends, or they won't give us as much money next year. Okay. So, I mean, what are you checking for? Oh, we're not checking for anything. We're just digging holes so we can use our equipment and we can pay the workmen because we, we have to use up like $8,000 before, um, before the end of the year, which is in, what is that, like three days now, four days? We've got to hurry. Right. So we're going to be working through the weekend, uh, digging these large holes in your front yard, and then we'll fill them back in. Okay. Well, um, I, I guess it's okay. That's, that's fine. I, I just, uh, there's not going to be any grass on them or anything else. It's just going to look like a, I, I'd like to know what, what the purpose is other than using your budget. No, well, that's it. We just got to use up the budget. If we don't use up the budget, they won't give us as much money next year. We got to use up that budget every year. We, we just, we ran a little short this year. Yeah, but I mean, I I understand that part, but I mean, isn't there? Uh, it, what are you gonna do when you dig the hole? Nothing, nothing. We're gonna dig it up. We're gonna put piles of dirt all around the the sidewalks and the street. Um, we might dig up a little bit of the sidewalk, also, like you know, you the sidewalk. I don't have any sidewalk. Are Are you sure you got the right? Now? No, I mean the 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 city sidewalk. Like, you know, maybe there's just a little accident, quote unquote, or, you know, like a, a truck puts a hole in, in part of the street or something. We we just got to, we got to use up that budget. We got to hurry up before the year is over. But there's no purpose or anything. We're not doing anything. We're just digging holes in your front yard. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and this is the city doing it? Yep. Yep. It's the city. I'm not in the city limits, so I, I don't. I still don't understand what what you're doing. Yeah, but well, you're you're within the limits for hole digging. Uh, you know, you're you're just, you're just just inside the the limit, the the you know the border for where we can dig holes, and they'll still they'll still uh, give us city funds for it. Like we we got to do this, or or you know uh, <laughs> someone might l lose their job because we won't have enough money. Who's that talking? Tell her to be quiet. <laughs> My wife's talking. If you want to talk to her, you can talk to her. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll tell her about the holes if you want me to. Hello? Hi. What's this all about? Uh, we're just going to be digging some holes in your front yard. I'm with the city. I don't think so. Oh, yes, we are. Yep, we're going to be there. We're actually going to be there tonight. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to put up yellow tape and some barricades. And the trucks are all going to... This is a joke. Why would you say First that? First of all, the city people are on vacation this week. And second of all, they wouldn't call at 5 o'clock. You don't know what you're talking about. No, you, you don't work here, so you, you don't... You don't know what you're talking about. I'll call the police. You better not be in my yard. No, no the, the it's going to be city trucks. The police can't stop city trucks. We're with the city. No, this is a joke. They, they work for us. Damn it. The wife was able to spot my elaborate ruse. Hello? Hello, Julie? Yes. Hey there, it's Roy from the Comptroller's office here with the city. Mm, Comptroller's office. I'm yeah. not following you. Well, you wouldn't know me. Roy. I'm, I'm calling to let you know we're going to send some uh, city trucks over um, first thing in the morning. We're going to be digging... From what? Which city? Okay. Yep. Yep, uh -huh. we're gonna be um, we're gonna be uh, digging some large holes in your front yard. Oh, you are. Yep. Uh, we'll ju we're just gonna be digging all through the weekend, and we'll we'll be done by Monday morning. Okay. Do you realize there's a leaning tree? A what? A leaning tree. Uh, we'll be careful. In the front yard. 
Oh, we'll be careful. Okay. We'll, we'll take it down if we need to. But we're, we're just going to be digging uh, large holes all over the front yard. Is this at your expense? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to pay anything at all. Um, okay. Yeah, the people over in the, the county uh, garage, they found, mm -hmm. a, a, they found a treasure map. Like a, and and, and they, they're pretty sure that there's a treasure buried in your front lawn. No. It's going to be, what? What do you mean, no? You're kidding. Oh, no, no, not kidding. Um, what was your name again? My name's Roy. It's going to be in the lawn that's up there close to the house. I know you have that driveway there that kind of separates uh -huh. one lawn from the other. It's going to be right by, up by your front porch where we're going to be doing most of the digging. Oh, my god! Very close to the house. Are you going to put a, a driveway back down? Uh, we won't take the driveway out unless we have to. Okay. But if we okay. do, if we do, we'll put it back. Okay. But hopefully, you know, if if we find that treasure, that won't be a problem. We can, we can make it. What was your last a, name? Uh, Zerbel. Zerbel. Yep. Yep. Roy Zerbel. But okay. we're just going to be digging all through the weekend. We might even pull some all-nighters. We might put some bright lights out there and dig all night. <laughs> We, okay, I, I just don't, I just don't know if this is real or not. Oh no, it's completely real. I'm with the city. We're we're just uh, we found this old treasure map behind an old well, file cabinet. You're calling after five o'clock. Well, yeah, I'm. We're still here. I'm uh, I'm gonna be here for another half hour. Uh huh. Well, but, um, this is certainly news to my husband and I. Yeah. Well, we think the treasure's been there since before your house was built. Like this is uh -huh. back in uh, the 1600s. It's a basically oh, a pi I see. yeah. It's a pirate treasure. Like it's it's an actual okay. treasure chest that we think is below your yard. Well, I find this hard to believe. Why? What's so hard to believe about it? it, it wouldn't you find it hard to believe if somebody called you from the city and said there's a there's a secret treasure in your front yard? I guess See, I don't my know. My husband like, said bullshit. You know. <laughs> oh, t tell him to speak more like a Christian. Um, we, oh, we don't need that kind of language. More like a Christian, he says. So it's not his business with a Christian. Not. You just tell him to shut up, okay? Like this is like you're, he's being rude. You're on the phone. Tell him to shut up. Hmm. I don't tell my husband to shut up. Well, I would if I were you. He needs to. Someone needs to tell him. <laughs> okay, that's that's the last one I'm ruining today. I quit. I'm done with this. Let's play some voicemails. Hey, Brad. It's Will here again. I was just calling hey. up to uh, wish you a Merry Christmas, man. Thanks. Um, you're listening to the show, and I just want to let you know that uh, you're one of the funniest people that I've ever listened to. Uh, I'm a oh, little drunk right on. now, but I just love the shit you do. Um, always puts a smile on my face. Gets your your phone, day. your I phone's falling apart. Um, I just hope you keep it up, man. What happened? You're, you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks, right. Will. Bye. Sorry about your phone sucking so bad, but Merry Christmas to you too. Hey, Brad. Hey. I'm a sovereign citizen. Oh my and, God. You know, by taking this call, you're kind of contractually bound. Now we're in joinder. Now, I do claim half of your backyard, and I'll be moving my trailer in pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Um, Good luck fitting a trailer back there. Leave an extension cord out for me. Okay. See you later, neighbor. All right, bye. bye. I think I'm a sovereign citizen now. The next time a cop pulls me over, he's going to be in for a surprise. I'm going to blow his mind with my knowledge of sovereign Hey, this is Adrian Citizenry. of Baloney. Hey. I sent you a list of contact information on December 13th. Okay. my Gmail account. Um, and now you're leaving uh, me a voicemail to tell me you sent me an email. Thanks. I tried to reach you through the phonelosers.org and left you a brief message. Yeah. I have a sample package for you of 12 phone numbers. I can't Addresses, wait. names, I'll get appointments, to All right. dates, times, Thanks. and locations of where these people will be going. Okay. Uh, if you could call me back, I could give you some more information. No. Or if you could just email me back, I can give you detailed information on how to have a lot of fun with these people. Just send it in the first but place. There, send me the detailed information. What, I have to email you back to get further information from the email? What the hell? Not having their appointments. Until... I think I know what you're talking about, and I've looked at it, and I'm sure I'm going to be calling them soon. It's just been a crazy week here. The 28th, you know? 29th, and Christmas. 30th of December, right after Christmas. Okay. So if you want to have some fun... 
email me back. Thank okay. You. All right. I don't know why I have to email you back, though. Can't I just use the list that you sent me? Just say that um, you had the wrong number, and then pretend you know him. I remember someone doing that. Just say, whoa, whoa, wait, aren't you um, Janet? Well, it's been so long. <laughs> hey, take her easy, Brad. Happy holidays. Okay, great idea. I'll do that. Hey, Brad, it's King Cobra. You government call skirt shut down and marry motherfucking cactus this Christmas. All right, thanks. Merry motherfucking cactus Christmas to you, too, King Cobra. Yeah, right, this is Adrian Nobaloni. Hey. I was wondering if you could do me a small favor and shut the fuck up okay. and check my email out. Oh, God. These people. This, this guy again. I'm going to delete your email just for spite. Hey, Orby. I tried to call you the uh, the last time from the play phone in my jail, jail mm-hmm. cell, but I couldn't quite get out. Oh. So I'm trying to call you again. I was just calling hey. to ask if there will be a sequel to the book because it was really, really awesome. Nah. And... I really loved it. It's no joke. It was really awesome. I don't know how to write Very a book. Good read, and uh, I think I just want to uh, ask for more uh, pranks where they you accuse them of riding uh, on your car in the snow. I think that's absolutely absolutely hilarious. Just how insanely angry they get. Yeah, me so, too. Yeah, Cactus. I will. I promise to do that. I've looked around the country a little bit to see where it's snowing, and I couldn't find any good spots really you know, for areas to call. I think even when I was calling those numbers in Minnesota for the last time I did that, did I do that on a snowplow show or was that a hobo soda? I can't remember. I know I've done that a little bit this year, just not very much. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do that before the winter's over. Our country just needs some more snow. It's all that damn global warming. It's messing up the snow this Brad, year. Hey, what's up, Big Moist? Hey, Big Moist. So, I want to let you know, uh, your podcast, or not your podcast, your interview with MC Lars's podcast yeah. was actually pretty great. I didn't think it was bad at all. Thanks. I know you already touched on it. it wasn't as bad as you thought, but like when you first talked about it, you were like, eh, I don't know. Eh, eh, it might be good. Well, uh, you know me. Uh, it was great. I, I don't know. Mr. No Confidence. It was very entertaining. Um, Thank also, you. friendly reminder, if you could please, if you ever have the time, you're not too busy, embed pictures in the uh, podcast for Patreon. That, yeah. that link for that I have been. Feed, whatever. Because um, it works. It's just I haven't seen that you've done it probably because you forgot. So yeah. yeah. All right. See ya. Big voice. The way. Just keep bugging me about it if I don't do it. But I think I'll remember to. I know I missed one of them last week. I know I didn't do that. Or like on the hobo sods. Because sometimes on the hobo sods, I don't even use an image. So maybe I need to come up with some sort of a default image to use for hobo sods. Or at least just throw some random picture in there that has nothing to do with the hobo sod. I'll just pick something off of my computer from a random directory. That's all of the voicemail, so that's the end of the show. Thanks, everyone, for listening. And thank you to the sponsors, Boca Recovery, Wolfatin, Nikish, I Regret Jumping, and Jamie F. If you'd like to be a supporter of the show, you can do that over at patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. I just realized that I forgot to mention on the beginning of the show that the Riley Mix episode of the PLA show is out. That's over on phonelosers.com. Be sure to watch that. I talked to Riley Mix, a.k.a. Vizzy G, a.k.a. Lux, a.k.a. ASC Presents. He has more names than me. But that was a fun show. That was the call-in show that I did with Riley. Be listening to that. Also, last night, I edited the other PLA show that I did last week. I did three PLA shows last week, and it took me forever to edit them because it's been a busy week for some reason. But I'll hopefully have that one up tonight. And I have edited the videos for both the Rappy McRapperson PLA show and the Riley PLA show. I'll get those up on the YouTube soon. I still don't, like, I don't know. I, I think I want to just put those on the Snowplow Show channel on YouTube because I kind of want the PLA channel to just be funny pranks. I don't want it to be long, boring call-in shows that people don't want to watch. I mean, nobody's complained so far, but I know they're thinking it. They're like, God damn it, I want funny pranks. I don't want a boring call-in show. So maybe I'll just put them on Facebook. I don't know what to do. Maybe I need to make a new YouTube account for just that stuff. Originally, the channel that is now called the Snowplow Show channel was called Phone Losers Shows. And that's where I was going to put all of the shows. But then at some point, I'm just like, fuck it. Let's just call it the Snowplow Show channel. And now I feel weird about putting the call-in show on that channel. What a mess. I have too many channels. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I even talking about this? It's time to go. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. Here's some Jonathan Colton. This year has been a little crazy for the Andersons. You may recall we... 
from Chiron Beta Prime. Let me tell you something. I'm not even going to talk to you anymore, you sorry son of a gun.